Okay, so actually Saturday night, we're free. I won't be. You're gonna I got be the where? party at Patrick Bet David's house. Oh, that's crazy. The party. Oh shit! While you're there, I'm supposed to be at your mom's crib, so I'm not. Usually, it's my you. girlfriend, not the mom. <laughs> well, I'll be coming home back to you every night, doing you right. This is type of woman serves good things. Phoebe Ristar, I just wanna show you you are. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want. Yo, did yeah, you go to Arlington intro. too? Yeah. I'm younger though. I'm 23. So that's your brother. Joey's my brother. Joey's your yeah. brother. The other dude with the Speedo is your brother that I met at Billy Joe's. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> with the Speedo. And that you guys have been best friends, you and him, for a while. Since you and Tony. Eight years old, yeah. Because I was telling Chris, just to give Chris a background, just let him know. I, I knew about you guys in high school. We were never really friends, but... Then I saw you guys were popping off and your music, his music is incredible. Oh, now you want to be I friends? Saw, yeah. <laughs> I saw his podcast and I was like, yo, maybe Straight we can up, collaborate yeah. here. And look at his okay. haircut, Tony. Only going closer Shit's on. fire. He, he I, got, in the cut, in the cut. He's got two stripes on the back. Uh, <laughs> that's I that one. know this kid fucked on the show. You know how I know? <laughs> Bro, how can you him? not? Look First at of, the guy. How can you not if you have no social media? They're feeding me drinks. I'll see you in my room at 10. All right, welcome back to Two Dudes, Three Legs Show, uh, where we interview experts in dating, I guess, uh, <laughs> share business tips, and travel the world. So, today, we have the number one couple that came out of the Amazon special, Cosmic Love. Where are we supposed to be My looking My boy, right Phil. Now? What do you mean, look? Look me in the oh, eyes. Sorry, sorry. You look, sorry, you look. so sexy. Nah, you you can't say you can't say the L word. I I just did. Bring a change of clothes. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> I don't care about anything on her right now. Kiss your bride. <laughs> Number one couple that came out of the show, in my opinion. My favorite duo. It's Goose and Maverick over here. These guys <laughs> ran the show from episode three to forever and beyond. So. I'll cut you off there, right there. <laughs> I was running the show up <laughs> until episode three, but that's not actually on the show. I did, however, bond with a girl named Morgan Raphael. Oh, she was bad. Bad. She's an influencer. She's very hot. She has an excellent skincare line. Um, <laughs> as you can tell on the show, her, her skin was very soft Are and Are you supple. plugging Morgan right now? <laughs> Bud, lips are sealed. Um <laughs> I was definitely, I didn't know what the process was on the show when we first got there. We didn't realize there were four elements. When we first got to the Cosmic Compound, we actually had to quarantine in Calabasas for a couple days because of the COVID rules. They were really? so intensive, yes. We're still playing the COVID game? For yeah, they were, we had to take a test every single day. But Phil was, we, ordering, we had a, Phil was ordering bottles to the room. <laughs> I was. Oh my God. 100%. Fire. So while we, were, while we were quarantined and they were checking up on us to make sure we didn't have COVID and they were just checking in with us, Simultaneously, we didn't know this was it. happening. The cosmic compound already had the four main elements living there. Okay. Phoebe, Noel, Connor, and um, Mariah. Maria. 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 Oh, that Jeez. girl. Um, <laughs> Damn, Maria. bro. That's right. Sorry, I forgot her, her name. Maria. Um, <laughs> And it's basically, right. it's we're... Little, it's a little jealousy, bro. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so basically... you forgot. <laughs> You're jealous. Did you forget about her too? Or no? <laughs> no. Okay. So anyways, the reason I'm saying this is because... So we were playing... Uh, it, was, it actually did not go on air. It was, it, it was taken out, but we were playing telephone and we were just going around in a circle and they, they were asking like, you know, who, who are you vibing? You know, y'all know the vibes, right? We were playing kind of that fucking game. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Morgan, I was instantly attracted to Morgan because I didn't know that you had to go after your astrological match. Right, it almost seems like when you guys were uh, introduced initially, nobody knew what the fucking rules of the game were. All right, so when we first went in there. And I want you to finish, but. Absolutely. When we first went in there, it was tough because we went in there thinking that there were going to be 20 people in a house, and you have to find who your match is. Like, kind of like, okay. are you the one? Yeah, yeah. that's... So that that's, almost sounds that's, like an easier setup to, yeah. to follow. So I thought that's what we were going into as. Like, they, in the interviews, they said, oh, you could have one or multiple matches. So I was like, okay, we got to find who our matches oh, are. Oh, shit. And but then if you have multiple... They you about the elements. They didn't tell us about the elements. Wow. So phone, phone's gone, everything. Okay, we're Amazon. In a, yeah, they threw a twist on us. So we're in the 10, and we're like... They're like, oh, as you notice, there's four people missing from the group. 
We're like, yeah, we thought they we thought they got sent home from COVID. We're like, oh, mm. they tested positive for COVID. Perfect. That's eight less. That's four, four less people that we have to worry movies. about. <laughs> so we uh, when we were in the tent, they said there were oh, we, there's four elements and there's two guys, two girls, and each person, each four of you are matched with one, and four of you are matched with the other. So we're like, yo, that can't be right. So like the first week, that's why you don't really see me in the first like three episodes because I'm like, there has to be a twist. He was also so assassin. you must be kind of pissed because initially you go from. You know, when we you're thought going we had out options. to a show, you, sh- uh, you, a show, you assume option. you're going to be the star. You have to love her. And then, like, you realize, oh, shit, we're, like, the guinea pigs versus the main characters. Just to chi- exactly, and just to chime in, me and him have similar um, ways to approach situations, whether it's a TV show, whether it's business, whether it's just life in general. We like to assess. We like to read the room. And there's always competition. Life is a game. Whether it's you're doing a job, whether you're doing a podcast... It, life is a game, man. Whether it's with girls, whether it's with money, whether it's you know increasing right. you your your life to, you. to yeah. sustain economic wealth, life throws you that curveball. So you have to be prepared in all situations to identify issues, identify threats. Survival instincts kicks kicked in for us. So me and him, I could say more him than me, uh, represents his Leo nature. He's a lion. Um, we were assessing our competition, so that's why we're kind of non-existent in the first three episodes. Oh, because you guys are we're, well, we're laying we, back. We were just waiting for that curveball. Yeah. So we're like, all right, so like let's 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 see what happens first, right? And then and right. then we'll proceed. Yeah, because we don't want to make attack. a fool of ourselves well, no on camera. Really like a lion, right? In the beginning, so much except for Caleb. Caleb, <laughs> kids, like I'm gonna get my dick wet everywhere I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this penis anywhere it'll go. Oh, Honestly, shit. he's a naughty boy. <laughs> Caleb's Yo, so man. did you guys yeah. know there was anything about Buddy, astrology? I don't think it's the lucky Yeah, we knew, we knew okay. it was about astrology. Yeah, we knew we had, it's the naughty Irish. It's the naughty, it's the naughty Irish. Well, from what you just said, I thought you guys literally didn't know that it was even about astrology at all. No, we, I thought it was like... Originally, it was totally called Love in the Stars was the original name. That that's, what what they told, that's what they told us. Love what was in the it? Stars. So love in the Stars. We made too many assumptions. Yeah. Because originally, they told us Love in the Stars, and then the other castmates, oh no, the other like people working on the show... Yeah. They said cosmic love, and we were like, "What are you talking about?" Oh, They're like, shit. "Oh, they told us it was cosmic love." We thought they were giving them a code name, not us. But they were giving us the code name, not them. Jesus Christ! So wow. they were. It was. It was a lot of mental shit going on when yeah. when you're Imagine there. Imagine that you're so confused. You're on a dating show. You're trying to size everyone up. Now you don't even know the fucking name of the dating show you're on. You got literally. No phone you don't know what time it is you can't listen to music you probably can't take a shit without asking yo is there a fight clause if you guys get into a fist fight with someone like you're thrown off so it was close (laughs) because i know that's got to happen i mean come on no if you get if if you make any physical altercation then not necessarily true because i I threw one of the producers against the wall like episode seven yeah wait what (laughs) you threw one of the producers not not a guy on this show this mother Named Chris Brown, bro. He had a, he was beefing with what everybody. What a name to have, Chris. Unfortunately, I had a hidden stash of tequila in the room, <laughs> and uh, the I producers found it, and I, I kind of lost it because honestly, bro, when you're on a TV show and you have 45 cameras in your face, and a lot of it seems like it could be scripted, even though it wasn't. You, you know, everybody knows the game. Everybody knows how it goes. We we did make our own moves. We approached our own girls. We. We worked in a fashion where we we were truly authentic to ourselves. Yeah. But it was very stressful. It was a time where we didn't have phones. We didn't know what time it was. No. Oh, that's another thing. They changed all the times to different times in the house. Yeah. So and you let, could never. No. Shut and, and let me actually finish off on that right. point. One of the nights, the they sent in. They're called TV Wranglers. They sent in like at least twenty TV Wranglers because I couldn't be contained because I'm obviously big dick energy. <laughs> Um, BD, baby, that's a this that's guy. A this guy actually kind of touched me. His name was Chris Brown, and I had enough of him, so I kind of like shoved him out of the way. And at that point, my producer stepped in, and she's like, "Hey, just so you know, like, you know, we want to get rid of you, but we can't. You're a main character. There's nothing you can do. There you nothing go. we can do. That's that cap shit. Wow, that was dangerous for <laughs> to tell you boy. that you're fucking invincible. He was walking through the hallway in the hotel, and I saw him through a mirror. And I was like, oh shit, like I actually do have wait, some wait. competition. Did you just describe the moment where you two started Made the love? soul bond? <laughs> yes. I, oh, and, and I think you did. Yep. Uh, and here's where the soul bond starts. So based on what the astrological <laughs> twins hashtag, hashtag astrological twins, 
This is what they said about me and Chris. This is why we're here. This is why the podcast is taking place. The bromance that we sustain throughout the show, through the trauma, through the emotions, through the bond. The they astrology actually, is backed. The astrology is backed. Here's the astrology that backs it up. Past life brothers, even twins, according to astrology, Chris R. and Phil have composite south node in, in Gemini, the sign of the twins. I'm also, I have a twin sister born at Christmas. I'm a cat. That would, that would totally explain why they bonded so quickly. A cosmic bromance. Phil and Chris R. have a composite south node in Gemini, which indicates a past life as siblings, even twins. Fire. Now, who Facts. gave you this information? Uh, the astrological twins. Okay. So they back this. Now, do you really believe in astrology? Are you a Capricorn too? I'm a Leo. Okay, you're a Leo, so you're not the same sign. Okay. I'm a Leo. Mm -hmm. My perfect match was a Capricorn. He's a Capricorn. His perfect match was a Leo. Mm, I see. He's in there for love. <laughs> but you straight up thought you were going to find love in five I was open-minded to it because my mom and my sister are very big into astrology. Yep. So when I got approached for the show in Miami, I was on a boys trip in Miami. Yep. One of my boys got approached for the show. He didn't want to do it because he was trying to go into the acting field. So when you're trying to become an actor, you're not supposed to go on reality TV. That's like the hidden rule. Right. Yep. So he's like, hey, they're asking if my friends want to do it. Would you be interested? I said, yeah, I'll submit an application, see what happens. Anyways, eight interviews later, they sent me out to California, do an interview there, send me back within 24 hours. And then all October 10th, I was there. But I was going on there with an open mind. My parents knew that I was going through the interview process. My sister knew. Yep. And they were like, this would be an awesome opportunity. You should just go do it. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to just go do it. I didn't know that the outcome was going to be the outcome. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if I was going to make a connection or not, but I was going to try my best and, and, and see what happened. I, would, I, knew, I, would make, I would, knew I would meet great people, which I did. Yep. And any other people on the show? Like I said, best couple from the show right here. <laughs> a couple people have been tweeting that. Yeah, Phil and Chris, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. are the best thing that came <laughs> from this fucking show. Well, honestly, to say, to say this on a real note, we were the most real relationship that formed after the show. Facts. That's facts. And that's because we were, if you could see, everybody kind of is pretty robotic. What kind of facts And, and it almost seems like everybody track, else was fact. kind of on there just to gain a following or clout. like clout or whatever. But me and Chris, like truly, I was going to move in with him after this. And it was like, you we, spent every weekend at my house for after, four weeks wait, after. So are you telling me it's in the stars for you too? Is that what you're saying? As a bromance, yes. Sick. He, like you said at the end, it's a, it's a lifelong friendship. And no, you, that's you think it had something yeah. to do with astrology or just I you do. guys having Astrolog closet talks I, and becoming a I team? Think it was, I think it was everything, man. I think, I think it was it, a little- The stars literally aligned for us. But it was a little, little, weird it was a little trauma bonding. We, we, we bonded through trauma, man. Tell and, me what that means. I would say trauma bonding is more- you're going through a traumatic experience together and you, and you talk about it together, yeah. which you build a bond you get through it together, together because right. of the trauma well, you're well, both dealing with. Build Listen, that's why it. you're, if you played sports in high school, the guys you played football with exactly. are your right. best friends because yeah. you right. fucking went to practice you're going through in the gauntlet with 90 that. degrees, you know yes. what I mean? Shit like that. It's, yes. it, that. That has truth to it. But I don't think I had anything to do with astrology. I don't believe in astrology at all. I think they're like, but just to touch on his point, yeah, just so touch on his point. Else. I actually ended up with Phoebe, and yep. you could say, even though I, like, at the last scene where she, I kind of proposed to her, she was honestly looked like she was going to say yes. I didn't know what was going to happen. She looked like she was going to say yes. If only she told you she wasn't going to. I, I for real, for real. <laughs> no, honestly, yeah, right. Does your back hurt? Walking around all day carrying your huge fucking balls. <laughs> honestly, this my, chick said, "Don't ask," and you're like. I don't fucking care. My big Irish Bro, bulls. I are, was <laughs> applauding you. I'm like, listen, Capuletti. My big Irish bulls are stronger than Conor McGregor's. My ankles don't break under then pressure. Then see it like you mean oh it, babe. Oh my god, what a bar! But I do want to say about Phoebe, right? That woman loves to be mistreated. Who did she love first? Answer the question. I honestly crazy. thought deep down. Who did she love first? God. Oh, maybe. But after that, she it does, was She was praying every what night. what did Caleb do? Oh, he went and played around in the pool with the other girl. And then who'd she love next? <laughs> who'd she love next? Darren. What'd Darren do? Pizza. He mopped. She loves to get hurt. The only person who offered herself, himself to her, she says no. I honestly was- Good luck, little, Phoebs. I was a little bothered by that. I, But like I said, mentioned earlier, I think I made her a little jealous because in the beginning, which they didn't really show, I had an instant connection with Morgan. Can I? Oh, it was so me. I got the I got probably uh, Morgan's kind of the hottest, again or no? hottest girl on the show. Whoa! Me and Morgan had had an instant connection. We we bonded, and she was she was my first match. And I don't know if that's why Phoebe was completely triggered and 
she was blown off that ego trip. Nope. I think if you showed it to her, she would have liked you more. Phoebe likes to be denied. Watch the show. Did you guys see it yet? <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. In I saw the first my, own two, my own two eyes. I got $150 two years from now. You two were the only one still standing. Out of any relationship on the show. And I'll shake on it right now. Let's go. Connor's going to stay with Two that years. chick. Come on. I honestly Connor doesn't I'm even honestly, know. Connor can't dad. decide what he's going to eat for breakfast without <laughs> he, crying about it. I have nothing but respect for everyone in the cast, but Connor doesn't seem like he knows what he wants in life. He doesn't know how to make his mind up. I don't he has no direction. The whole time. I don't even know if he wants to put out fires. I don't know if he wants to be a firefighter. <laughs> I don't know he's if he, I don't know if he wants matches. to be a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> I don't know if he wants to be Avril Lavigne and sing like some old school pop songs with a bunch of dudes. I don't, I'm not really sure. Well, listen, that, that brings me to this question, right? The whole world's watching. What happened at the end of the show? Tell me, tell me what resulted from you going on this show. Let's start with you, Phil. So at the very end, when I, when I got to the stage where I, I really wanted to commit to Phoebe, I went down there, um, you know, down that beautiful pathway beautifully landscaped it said marry me there was a there was a bonfire there was excellent alcohol there i think there was don perignon i'm not really sure and it was a vibe and and actually i was emotionally detached i went in there going emotionally detached because i don't want my heart broken but through the process i did find a connection Weird, with you're wearing a heartbreak shirt exactly i'm wearing the heartbreak shirt because i honestly me and phoebe are still very good friends to this day we still talk but when i was about to propose i so many things are going on through my mind and i was like you know, I wrote this beautiful is, poem. I wrote this How beautiful poem. <laughs> is 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 this too short amount of a time to actually oh ask somebody to marry me? And I and where I where did you get the inspiration to write a poem? Christopher. <laughs> no <laughs> shot. Yes, I copied him for sure. Stop it. <laughs> At least you admit it. Thank you. Uh, the bromance, honestly, man, we're a team. So like, what it, what's his is mine. So <laughs> of course he can't be too selfish. I love it. I love it. And, you know. Oh but listen, God. I helped him with like the first line and then they were like, you got to get out of the room. Yeah, they, they separated us. The bromance, the love was too strong for cosmic love. It was more infinite love between us. So I guess infinite love kind of conflated the whole cosmic New love series scene. starting next year. Infinite. infinite love. Two bros who couldn't fuck girls from the show. <laughs> oh, couldn't fuck enough girls. I honestly, I don't want to say too much, but I, I, I. You've said it all. I made my rounds. Um, Give me over under, over under three girls on the show. Story, I'm not. I cannot. Uh, yeah, say. no. We have to finish the story. We okay. Do. So basically, I th so many thoughts are going through my mind, but through the experience, even though it was a short amount of time, I, without a cell phone, without my support system, Phoebe was my now Chris, because I was separated from Chris. I didn't see him in about a day and a half. So I was like, holy fuck, what do I do here? And I, I almost really did feel the connection at that point as you guys could see on the show that we truly did bond and she was a leo and i believed in my match so that like you let your walls down finally i let my walls down and through through the environmental factors through me letting go of my ego through her letting go of her ego we both kind of were were in tune with each other's energy we were present with each other and i felt like it was the right thing to do and as you could see during the show she kind of pauses and she thinks about it i think she made a mistake bro I think she didn't let her wall down. And she gave you so much shit in the beginning for you not doing it. That's hypocrite shit, bro. It is. And honestly, nothing but respect for Phoebe. She's amazing. But where there was that double standard and where she was saying that people were deviating from the task, well, why was the task identified as if we went to another single, we were bad guys, but they were allowed to see four other people? Isn't that, exactly. isn't that essentially yeah. cheating? The double standard again. But when we did it, when we weren't even Why really- Why do you think I got so pissed? When we weren't even really, you know, hooking up per se in the first couple of weeks. I mean, actually, I don't know, day two of me and Morgan. But the first couple of weeks, we weren't really hooking up. It was more like we were just trying to get to know each other and like being friendly. They almost got triggered in the sense and they're like, oh, you guys are deviating from the task, which is trusting in the social experiment, not falling in love, in real life, like we all do, based on physical attraction, emotional bondage, you know, spiritual beliefs, just how you guys approach girls. We were supposed to trust in the stars through cosmic love that our compatibilities 
are going to lead to a great long lasting relationship. So you had to trust it and identify this process as being true and authentic and just go for it. Even if you didn't feel that instant bond right away. That's why when she friend zoned everybody, wow, it was like, actually fact, why, bro, why because- were you on that? Why were you on that show in the first place? That's why David, the punk rock star is like, why are you even here? So people were very offended by that. And the reason I spoke up during that one scene and I said, this girl's ego tripping is because right before she was like, yeah, I'm so into you, blah, 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 blah. Well, tell, we, tell, them what, tell them what she said when you asked her the question in the Venus vault. So we went down to the Venus vault after it said that I freaked out. It says Phil freaks out when Phoebe friends with everybody. The reason I freaked out is because me and Morgan weren't really dating, but we were so compatible. Morgan was actually asking people, you know, Amazon, hey, and the Astro Twins, are we compatible? So I almost felt more well, of a she bond. Was all, it, was, it, was also, it was also the fact that she... We didn't know at that point whether singles could go on dates. Right, right. We weren't like we were told of this information. So we were we were just kind of exploring and, and bonding with other people because the elements were locked away for so long, we weren't even allowed to talk to them. So Phoebe essentially when she friends on everybody, it's like I told her in the Venus Vault where we walked downstairs and Chris is um identifying the issues and Phil, what's wrong? I actually posed a question to Phoebe, hey, what's going on here? Why are you doing this? They forgot to put in the clip where I said, if this was an abandoned island, you know, you could choose one thing. I said, if there were three perfect matches, Darren, me, and Caleb. Because that's David. No, David wasn't there anymore. Yes, he was. Oh, he was still there? Yeah. Oh, David was still there. I was yeah. like, who, who, who would you existed. pick? Who even is David? Who even is David? Right. Phoebe, <laughs> shout out Phoebe. <laughs> ego tripping Phoebe. Phoebe. Ego tripping Phoebe. That was a little mean. Did he have like a minute? I said, I said. I think he was a mole. I said, who would you pick? <laughs> who would you pick? Because behind the scenes, me and Phoebe were connecting more so than any other matches, more so than Darren. Oh, yeah. We were bonding on a spiritual level on, you know. You guys were actually doing something that's we're, very strong in relationship building that a lot of people don't know don't about. Don't do. where at first you, you conflict. Exactly. That and is one of the most powerful and relationship Tony. building tools. Oh, Tony, so, so, and Tony. you were the only ones who did it. Tony, you know, Tony. Conflicted. Him and, Tony, to say, to, Tony, to reiterate what you're saying, though, like, I oh, asked yeah. I asked Phoebe, I said, if there were three guys, I'm mean, sorry, four guys, all of your matches on Bandon Island, and like you had no lifelines, you had no access to food, water, who would you pick? She said, obviously you. Oh, where was that, Amazon? So at, at the end of the show, what was the result for you? And how is it going? Tell us about the report. <laughs> Putting me on the spot. Just tell us how it's going. Um, tell us about the end of the show. Obviously, so, so I, 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 I proposed to Maria in a poem. Which was fire. That's copied. <laughs> My voice got bars. I wrote that in two hours. Do you I can tell. No, I don't, even, I don't even have it written Yo, down. Shit is lyrical and cinematic. I actually don't even have it written down. They gave me a computer two hours before I proposed, and we we're like, "Hey, like, go for it." Like, yo, you're only getting mine was two a little hours? discombobulated. I was a little no, too you too f- on tequila. Listen, <laughs> you're slurring a lot of words on there. Huh, I, want, sure. I want to throw this in there. You're the winner of the show because you're the only one who trusted the process. They told you she was your astrological match. She wasn't ready to move forward. You weren't ready to move forward, and you said, "I don't give a." F- it. I appreciate you for that, on man. One knee. You're the winner of the show in that aspect. I appreciate you for You're that. You're the I, winner I of the show because you played the f-ing game. This chick came in. She's in love with Chris, whatever the yeah. winner is. Yeah, don't care. <laughs> anyway, she's in love with this kid and you're is, like- Is this podcast yeah. a little biased? Do you like us more she's than the like, other castmates? <laughs> I already told you, you guys won. I watched. I love my opinion more than anyone else's. You can take your opinion and put it in your ass. I watched. You made it to the end and you beat that other motherfucker out. And I don't know if that's just a competitor because you look like an athlete. I don't know if that's the competitive in you, but you did it. You came in and you're like, okay, how do I win this game? I got to give this bitch a ring. How am I going to do that? She's in love with this guy. Let me woo her. And you did. And that was fire. So you guys, you guys won the show. Put a little. He puts a little swag and he goes, what does she need? A poem? Let me rip one up. <laughs> rhyme here, rhyme here. And she's wet. Winner. <laughs> Let's get married. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, can I be honest with you? When I proposed and I was on one knee and I don't even remember, I said the last line was, will you be my wife, right? I think. Mm-hmm. And um, bro, they cut so much of that because she took forever to say yes. 
I was like, did it. Yeah, I was like, uh, are you gonna say yes? Like, what are we doing here? No, she was she like, did. and then she said yes. Of she course, she didn't say nothing. She was just sitting. Thinking. She was just, she was just laughing at me. Yeah, she was just laughing and oh, cackling that's why the whole time. Because her laughing, you said it. Did my <laughs> he goes research. Like this. Because he knows Stop he said it. it. He remembers he said it. No, but I was I was on one knee. I'm like sitting there with the ring in my hand. I'm like, uh, like what are we doing here? And I was like, and and I think I said, I think they uh, they aired it. I was like, are you going to say yes? And then she said yes. And then whatever. And then my family came. And you got the quote from my mom. And then put you uh, on blast big time. Yeah, she did put me on blast. She Your dad had did. the funny ass. My, par- my parents, they came in, and I think my dad and my sisters were very nervous about the cameras. Mm-hmm. For some reason, my mom wasn't, but I think she. Oh, your mom's got a very strong personality, bro. I can yeah. tell by seeing her for the first two seconds. She's just very protective. She must be head of household. No she wears offense, pants. but she your mother, is. bro, I can tell. She walked in, yeah. she's like, who's this bitch? <laughs> Dead ass, bro. And then, like, I thought this she's thing. giving looks and faces like, you're getting married? <laughs> Not if I say I honestly thought it. his parents were in f-ing shock at the first, like, no, they were, they your dad had that funny ass line, though, at the batch party. Oh, yeah. That I shit killed, was funny. Did I kill he that actually or what? came out of his shell. Did, yeah. It did was I good. kill that or it what? It was good. I knew all the fucking answers to that shit. But honestly, that's not the batch party you wanted, bro. No, so I would either be no in Miami coke. or Vegas. Where was the tequila? <laughs> yeah. How many drinks did you have? Not enough. Actually, we did get boozed up for that. Did anybody throw up? Connor Connor was actually drunk for that. <laughs> he was drunk drinks? the whole show. Wait, Connor drinks? He was drunk the whole no, show. Con- Since he was an element, they actually gave him free alcohol nonstop. He, Stop. he had a free tap. No. I had to steal my alcohol. Me and him Stop. had to steal alcohol. Don't the move. elements Don't got more alcohol than us. Dog. They got whatever they wanted to. <laughs> We, we, if we re- requested a goddamn Fiji water, it's like, go take a hike. The elements can have it. Go f- yourself. I was excited that my whole family came out because I think that me and Noel were the only ones, but Noel's father didn't come. Yeah. I actually have no idea where Noel's father is. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't, that begs the question. Where was Maria's dad? Uh, he, he's in the DR. <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't get back to the US. <laughs> Why? His daughter's getting married. I, I don't know. It was honestly, it was very last minute, and the weddings were on a Wednesday, so it wasn't like it was on a weekend. Our wedding was on a Wednesday. So Jesus Christ, Amazon wedding on a Wednesday. What is that? My two friends wanted to come, but one of my friends was in NYU dental school, and my other friend couldn't come. So if it was on the weekend, they both would have been there. Of course, and, and, and Amazon's They both would have been tickets, there. Flying people out of F- four, four tickets. That was the limit. Yeah. You didn't so, call me. So when my parents came out, I was very thankful that they were there for me, obviously. Um, we can and, tell you have a strong family. Yeah, I, I definitely have a strong family relationship. And a lot of people don't know, but, and the show doesn't know this either. Well, the show knows this, but it wasn't aired. My mom gave me a stack of envelopes before I left for the show. And every day was written with the date of a different envelope. And every day I would open an envelope and it would be a, a person from my family. Wow. Holy f- Yeah. Holy So shit. someone from my family- and you and actually like, shared them with me. Which yeah, me and Phil would read them every single day. And it was like, kind of, it was like a- Positive affirmations. Yeah, about it was like- it was like That's beautiful. It was like some motivation. Like, hey, like, keep your head up. Like, I know you're doing great out there. Like, go kill. This is- like something it actually really touched me. I actually got emotional when he shared that with yeah. me. And I so felt like, like I was part of his family because I didn't have that. So like my, my parents my, are more ruthless. My man. extended family, my, my cousins, Never my second cousins, shit. my aunts, my uncles, my best friends, um, I, my, my grandparents, this obviously. This guy had a fucking bow tie in every fucking, fucking envelope. Beautiful. Where do you get all these friends, man? I want to have real, bro. What the fuck? Are you Italian? Yeah, you are. God damn. He literally had one for every single day, man. It was insane. Yeah, I had one for every single day. And actually, they made so many extras that the last day we were there, me and Maria read like the last five of them. I was born on Christmas, man. Where's all this f-ing love? Like, wh- why don't I have these letters? Santa didn't gift you like <laughs> Yo, my favorite thing about when you left is you're like, deuces. My guy's like, I can't believe it. He's leaving me. Crying Oh yeah, hard. you looked like a little pussy, bro. I was, oh, I was more content. man, he's in touch with his emotions. It's okay, buddy. Maybe you are gay for me. <laughs> Real men cry. Listen, the reason why I cried <laughs> was 
Because when you're in a massive house <laughs> and there's 20 people in it, and then all of a sudden your support function goes, and now you're left with six people in a Fact. massive f***ing mansion. You're alone. You're, you feel so you're alone, alone, bro. Yeah. You feel so alone. Who are you right? there with You don't truly love me then? Is that what that means? Who? Just, you, it Noel. Was, it, was, it was me, Maria, Noel, and Connor. But we didn't really. And you and vibe. Noel and or you and yeah, Noel and Connor. You guys we weren't even hanging out. No, we don't even vibe. So it's just you. Yeah, exactly. That's why I felt so alone. And Maria, I would have cried too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cr I'm about thinking about it. All right. <laughs> All right. So this next segment, we got something fun. It's it's called right, rapid fire go. questions. I got. I'm gonna have Zach do because he can read. <laughs> I need one. <laughs> Word answers. I'm looking at you. All right, speed round. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, we got the hottest chick on the show. Morgan. Danae. Yes. Ugliest chick on the show. Three. <laughs> David. <two. laughs> Yo! Yo! What? He wears mascara. No, he, he wears doesn't. wears mascara. Bro. David wears mascara. Oh, All right, shit. you ready? All right, who is the alpha man on the show? Chris. Phil. What dude was, was the that. weirdest? David. David. <laughs> are you an, he, that was the girl. Are you an <laughs> Are you an ass man or a boob man? Ass. Ass all day. Okay. Favorite body part on yourself? Come Sausage. on, are you fucking kidding me? It takes you that long Sausage. to think about this. Your hair. You talked about your hair for forty five minutes. Not your hair. My face. Brazil. Okay. Has your body count gone up since the show? No. Yes. Okay. Are you so? Are soulmates real? Yes. Yeah. Me and him. Were you guys hammered every single night of the show? Phil was. I yes. plead the fifth. Okay. <laughs> Fair answer. I drank a fifth. <laughs> I drank a fifth of vodka every night. Very, very good tequila. Chris actually still has the alcohol that we stole. What was your Bob tequila of choice? Costa Migos. Mm. Same. Is Darren a boss or a loss? Boss. Boss. Self residency ah, style. Love him. Does because Maria like sports? I have no idea. No. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. To this day, I still don't know. Were the marriages even real? Yes. Yes. Okay. If you can go back and do anything different, what would it be? This is not a one word answer. Not a one word Give answer. Give me a one not sentence question. answer. <clears throat> you want me to go first? I would not let anybody touch my fucking hair so my hair wasn't blonde. <laughs> Boom. That's a good answer. My answer would be I would be more I would be more open and and accepting to the terms and conditions in the first of week the show and a half. Itself. In the okay. week in the first week and a half. Like Phil was. What were those? Phil was open. Yeah. Not really. Well, actually by the end. Sorry. Yeah. At the end, Phil opened his heart. I would say Javier and Chrissy were the most open in the beginning. I mean, look at Javier. He had to be. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, does your back hurt from carrying around your huge balls all day long? Buddy, these fucking big Irish balls are so heavy. Absolutely, yes. I love that he's Italian, but his balls are Irish. <laughs> no, I'm Italian, Irish, German. I'm Italian, Irish, and Dutch. So isn't your balls at half Italian? I'm Italian, German, and black from the waist down when I'm at the bar, though. Okay. <laughs> and he will tell girls that. I'm not even joking. I'm black from the left leg down. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the apple leg? Yeah. You don't it. have the boot leg? It's you the don't have the touch. apple leg, the white one? <laughs> Come on, rub it. It's magic. Ah! Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> does that have an electric shocker on it? Holy fuck. It does, dude. It's like those pens like we used to run back. The in tape our, and the pen yeah, and the lighter yeah. and all that shit. Back in middle school. Where you'd make some the gum. Grab it, the, can you get the a zapper gum, on that? Meant, can you, can you tell somebody to feel my leg and have a zapper on that? Like a pen zapper? I can. I probably could. Don't know if I would. Let's go. Let's right. see the game. I have another little game, right? This is a round of who is the celebrity lookalike for the people on the cast, right? Pictures. I have pictures. He's going to show pictures of you everyone. You two need to tell me who the celebrity match is. Let's see how it pans out. Who's this guy look like? Aquaman. Mm. Aquaman. All right. Great job. Come on, this one's so easy. Something from the Ninja Turtles. Whoa! <laughs> he looks like an Annie May character. Annie May? Anna, Give me a name. Anna May. A famous guy. <laughs> Yo, you did not just expose him. He That's said, bromance, bro. <laughs> he said Annie May. 
No, stop. That's it. what no, I said. No, stop. That it. guy's yeah, very yeah, attractive, yeah, right. bro. All right. Cardi B. Boom! Same dress. <laughs> they wore the same dress. I think that was on purpose. I think so too. One of my favorite. Who is She's it? from uh, Friends. Um, Phoebe on Friends. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Phoebe on Friends. No. Nope. She's a young Cameron Diaz, the hottest of Cameron Diaz. Pretty accurate. I'll take that. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know about that, but yeah. All right. All right. Someone with a massive ass. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you're right. <laughs> Shit, I should have put you as the fucking ass. Um, <laughs> That's a we got... Jordan Sparks, but I would have taken Venus or Serena Williams. Yes, someone said Serena, Serena Williams. Williams. Yeah, Serena yeah. Williams. Someone sure. said Serena also Williams. Also, the ass fits. So yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, this the one's it, easy. The in character, in character from fucking <laughs> Stephen King. I told him that to his face. Here, do it. Let's do it together. Wait, how did you? Oh, do- <laughs> all right, but wait. He's a very successful. So they did man. not do Javier justice. No, we mobbed him. He did, like shit. He did that. this shit. That's uh, what it is. He, he did scared. that to himself. He was scared <laughs> once we mobbed this shit. Because we when I when I team. had kind of Maria under the wraps, Phil literally went to Javier in my room. I was like, "Yo, dude, you got to go after the other singles in the house." Like Chris has got the shit on lock. Like you're you're done, bro. And me and Chris together as a team since he was literally he was actually on the bottom bunk in our room, and that's the thing. The way the rooms were st- strategically placed, the way that the roommates kind of aligned, Amazon was fucked. That we were essentially friends with Caleb and Javier, and they could do nothing. So that was his competition. That was my competition. But think about it: we're moving as one unit. They're alone. So yeah. it's like, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, I got wow. him. What are you gonna do? Yeah, we. Oh, and they wow. felt that pressure. We, we kind of friends. It's like, dude, yo. you know, when you go out with friends, it's like, what are you gonna do though? Because yeah. I'll mob what? your, we'll mob we your. Had each, yeah. We had We did have each other's All back the, the whole entire show. I mean, bro, it's an automatic loss for everyone else. Right, they ready? can't. They can't this win. This is my favorite one. If you don't get this, you're not. Dmx. Dmx. Come on. No. Nah, that's too aggressive, Darren. Bro. There another rapper, another rapper. This is rapper. the same picture. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, say, it ain't no regular F1. No, chill, chill. chill. I know what it is. Don't even say it. Um, I have no clue. I know, I know, bro. Don't say it. I literally know. Um, T.I. Bro, come on. That's This is the same picture, bro. Look at these guys. Twins. It's 21 Savage. Well, he has so many tattoos, 21 Savage. Darren's Darren's clean cut. I couldn't I couldn't. Somebody recognize. took the f***ing Photoshop It's, it's the dog I sent you. What was the business like on the show for you guys? Like, what was the, other than fame, which is probably most of the reason that most people wanted to go on, what was the money like on the show and what was the residual? Is there like any everlasting effect in contract for how many views the show gets There's or anything no like that? There's no royalty contract set up no. as, as per now. Oof. Um, yeah, none. We got paid to be there, uh, honestly, as not actors, but kind of as actors. Paid yeah. well? Entertainment. Yeah, paid very well. Well, it's it's by day. So, like, as long as you're on the show. Makes sense. You get paid by yeah. day. If you're more popping, you get paid more. Everyone gets the same. We had Every, one off. Everyone gets paid the same, but it's as, ma- it's as many days as you're on the show. Got it. We but had like, one off day, too, where we didn't film Yeah, every anymore. Sunday was off day. Okay, so You guys you? didn't get your phones or nothing <clears throat> on the off day? No, we got two TVs. Only yeah. Netflix. So do you realize how much that changes the dynamic? Because if I'm there and I'm getting paid by day, it's no longer about love. If I'm not feeling the chicks right away, it's like, <laughs> well, that's where we actually bonded. Paid? So an interesting conversation we could have is on Halloween. I actually had a very good bonding experience with Morgan and Phoebe. We were watching it, Javier. Shout out Javier. It looks like it. Like, <laughs> yeah. like Chris just said. But we were watching it. I told him that to his face. Behind bro. the scenes, that's where you bonded, where you didn't feel the pressure. And he was cuddling with Maria. I was cuddling with Phoebe, and we were watching, uh, you know, we watched Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus. And like, we were, and actually, that's when we had a, me and him were the bartenders on the show, since they wouldn't give us any drinks. So me and him had stashes of tequila. Um, and Chris and me were like, yo, Maria, Phoebe, what do you want to drink? We got you. And that's where we were the goats. We ran the show, man. It was like, hey, you need some? You come to us. In the very beginning, when he lost his mind uh, relative to episode three, and then he figured out how, how the game plan was. Me? I think both of us, when we realized that we were getting denied on dates, but I think secretly- no, it was episode four. Episode four, but secretly we knew the girls actually wanted to ch- chill with us, vibe with us, ask us on dates. Then we really said, hey, is this a little scripted? And we get that, you know, every show is kind of a little scripted, but we thought maybe they were 
attacking us in, scripted, in an unfair but way. Strategically planned. Strategically planned. Produced. Right. produced. Yeah. Strategically produced. And we yeah. said we don't we don't really like this, and that's why we said, hey, we love Amazon. We we still love Amazon, but we need to run our own script here, man. You know, that's how I am. I'm a cat, man. I'm I'm on that ball shit. He's on that Leo yeah, a, shit. I'm He's a, a lion. So we can't we can't let everybody dictate how our life is gonna go. We we call the shots, essentially. But you, you guys did. did. Which we did, yeah. We ran that shit. And that's why everybody was bamboozled. Now, they tried to bamboozle our shit. They don't realize we're from the East Coast, man. So <laughs> You were studying. Yo, that's facts. No, but that's facts. I worked in the Bronx. I worked in the Bronx for three years. He's from New York, baby. I worked in the Bronx for three years, man. I actually, I have. So did I. I have, I have. Massive New York. I have, I have. I worked in the Bronx for three years, man. I actually, I have. So did I. I have, I have. Maspeth. I have a bachelor's degree in business management, minor entrepreneurship. So I have that accreditation. I have Sigma Beta Delta. I was very successful in school, business management. In administration, so that's a six people in my school got Thanks that. For sharing, man. But on top of that, I worked in <laughs> the Bronx. I'm not going to say what I did there, but I learned a lot of street smarts. So I had the street smarts, and I had what school? A Marymount Manhattan College. Okay. Someone asked me, and I forget who it was, and I think it was Maria or Phoebe, one of them, and they said, "If you and Phil had the same match, what would you have done?" You were hating each other. I said, "I said honest, honestly, I think we would have both just." Quit the competition. It would have been one or two. Where we discussed the two options. Like we're so alpha that like he's gonna attack me. I'm gonna attack him, and it's like, gonna be a battle of the fucking gods. Like it's gonna be a good fight. Or we had so much mutual respect. Like we'll just leave. Yeah. And we didn't want to like ruin our friendship You're and Mormon, our romance. Though, you can't both be married to her. Oh, well, behave, man. no. Connor tried to be married to Danae and Yana at the same time. Oh, so he did. That's I didn't a know that. move, bro. Yes, he did. I didn't, you didn't know, know that. that. No. What? No, he was begging for a polygamy. What? I didn't know that. Wait, so what would they have done? Move. They would have given two rings out? <laughs> I don't know. But what the he fuck? definitely <laughs> I'm just hearing this for the first time. <laughs> really? You didn't know that? Yeah. What? He, I guess we don't, you don't he, love me he as much so, as I thought you did. He was so torn between that um elimination between Danae and Yana. When he told Danae to go home, I'm sorry. Dumbest thing I've ever seen. What was he thinking? You like Danae, don't you? <laughs> I like my girlfriend. Danae has that effect on but people. But I can respect a beautiful woman and, and realize when I see somebody, that other girl was not that. I don't even remember her name. What's her name? Yana. Still don't remember. What's her name? <laughs> Still, exactly. Yana. Danae. D Danae. <laughs> How did he deny Danae? Danae, Danae, Danae. <laughs> Danae is very different off camera. Is she weird? No, because we all we, we all went to Nashville, and she's very fun off camera. On camera, she was a little more conservative. Like she really did watch what she said, and yeah. she was a little more shy in front of the camera. You get her off camera; she was cool. she's very outgoing. She's a Leo too. She's very outgoing. She's very personable. She has so much so fun. The camera fucked it up for her. Yes. Yeah. If, she if, wasn't intimidated. She was out of her element, just like me. Yeah. I, I was very nervous on camera too. It was it's it, very nerve wracking. It was. Going I never. I have never done acting. I've never been in Hollywood. It's so new to me. I felt a little intimidated having thirty five cameras in front of my face at all it times. Seem like, bro, you were wearing brass balls, buddy. I had tequila balls on me. <laughs> when I asked for a therapist, <laughs> yeah, yeah you I, did. When I asked for a therapist, they denied me a therapist, no, they and didn't. I. Basically got my own, and it's called Mr. Tequila, and I recommend <laughs> it for a lot of people. It's hey, uh, it's a good therapist. Hard, yeah, he works very he's hard right, right now. Yeah, Casamigos. All right, so that reminds me of another question, right? So when you said Connor was asking for polygamy, blah blah blah, blah how the fuck did you guys pick rings for these chicks? Like they accepted rings that were like, what? Were, what did they just get them out of a twenty-five cent machine? Where the no, fuck they're those, real those rings from rings Tiffany's. Are, they're actually from Tiffany's. Bro. I remember the box. Really? I had the box. Those in my hand. rings were expensive. It was from Tiffany's. And catered to what the women liked. They gave you uh, two options, two options, and you had to pick one of them. Unfortunately, Maria was saying the whole entire time to the producers that she wanted a gold band, and she they gave me two options with silver bands. From my understanding, is that you had to make the decision for her ring. From yeah. my understanding, of whoa, the, that's weird. From my yeah. understanding about the amount of carats of diamonds that were in there, I I think they came out to be like around twenty five. No, we had to we had to sign contracts after you left. We signed contracts. Holy uh, I shit. Think, the the rings were uh, right around six thousand. Oh, six thousand. Okay, I don't know where I got them. Oh, that's not too crazy. Yeah, that's actually. Right. I think they were around manageable. six thousand. That's Normal. not Bro. too crazy. Yeah. Well, oh wait, so that that begs a question. Oh, you're not gonna what get about? your girl a twenty thousand dollar rock, bud? Oh, for sure. Okay, well, I'm big balling out here. 
If I don't come out with a 20G rock, I ain't getting married. Actually, when I was about to propose to Phoebe, Maria got very mad because what did I tell you? And the, and you Phil went up to Maria the night I proposed to her and was like, you were blacked. <laughs> <laughs> Understand. He goes, he goes, that's not good enough for Phoebe. I'm going to get her a bigger one. No. And way. Maria she got mental breakdown. so mad. She had a mental breakdown. She that's got fucking great. Yeah. Yo, she got so That's mad. That's mad funny. And Phoebe and me did have the understanding that we were going to kind of move forward with the marriage, but I believe the night before I might have had a little too much to drink. And, yeah. I, and I was in the hot tub and I was jumping in the pool. I was jumping off fucking, you know, there's a cliff. I was like rolling down the cliff. Like I was doing crazy shit. And Phoebe's like, I can't ruin my reputation. This guy's a little too crazy. But I, I was just having fun. That's not who I am as a person. I was just in Malibu, man. Like I wasn't gonna go to sleep with like Caleb and Javier at like nine o'clock at night, man. I'm in Malibu. <laughs> right. Why would you want not why would you not want to party on around vacation. the pool and yeah, on a vacation right. essentially while trying to find love? But the, these guys are like, we gotta go to bed. We're we're we're, we're grown no, people. Kate, here. Nah, Caleb Caleb was up at eight o'clock in the morning every morning making breakfast for like everyone. Shout out Caleb. That's he needs his own cooking show for real. He needs a little bit of spuds and rashers in the morning. <laughs> oh. Don't you think? It's the, luck of the, the sun rises a couple hours earlier in Ireland. <laughs> You're actually pretty good at that. He's Irish as fuck. He yeah, is. My mother's from Ireland. His mother's straight. Oh, really? He still has yeah. the accent. Oh, wow. Also, before we get too far off the subject, I'm looking at your fucking ring, buddy. What's that? <laughs> this is uh, a gold ring with eight diamonds on it. Real gold? Yep. Let me sniff it. Give me that thing. Come on. I'm getting a little aroused right now by your guys' connection. This is... The Are you getting jealous? Just like you're on the jealous, show? buddy. <laughs> yeah. I think Leo's get a little more jealous than Cap's blood. So. I'm a Cap. So what? How do we? I'm match, a Cap. Guys? I'm a Cap. I mean, you saw the oh, fucking shit. sign. Oh yeah, you. Oh, you can't take it from me, dude. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? Chills. He's three days Watch out, bitch. Yo, I actually chose, <laughs> and, bro. You're mine. This guy's a Sagittarius. <laughs> what does that make us? Four what days is before him? In December 18th, What's that make December us? 22nd, we're gonna 25. have to contact the Astro Twins on that. We're gonna have to contact them. Fucking see what happens. Yo, he's funny story. Amazed. Right after we got married, I was washing my hair and my ring slipped right off and hit the ground and one of the diamonds went missing and I actually had to give it back to them. I was like, yo, one of the diamonds fell out. Sucked then, it's in his pocket. Guy's got <laughs> tweezers. Honestly, when I when I left the show, I still had the shit in my pocket. Yeah, I'm going I'm to walk out with this motherfucking ring. But I was like, nah, I can't do that, man. You know what I mean? But I, it's such a big place. We're on a cliff in Malibu. So I was like, I could have just said that. No, that shit job. was paid I'm for. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't, I'm not a thief. Wait I'm a not second. a thief, bro. Yes. You're no. telling me that the ring they gave you to give to her was paid for. And she still said no. She said no. I, I told her low-key, kind of off mic. I was like, yo, you should just keep that shit. And like, we'll, yeah, we'll pawn that shit off at a pawn shop. After we leave the show, they, we'll split the proceeds. Say? They were like, yo, we need the ring back? Yeah, pretty much. No, they have for sure. How is that? I'm sure to propose to somebody else. Be like, yo, do, just do they have a return? Shit. Do they have a receipt? How does that work? Does Tiffany's. Tiffany's, do you guys, fuck, do you guys return that? $2 million no, on that show. No, they, it, how much it, is it to rent? I want to hear the building. conversation. Dude comes into your room. He's like, hey, man, sorry about that on national television. Oh, can I get that ring back? What's that conversation like? I wasn't there for that one. I wasn't there for that one either. I, <laughs> I was on my way home, man. <laughs> you, Chris was still crying. So show on us me. the ring. I know you're lying. <laughs> give it, give, show me the fucking ring that you got. No, he didn't bitch. get one. He didn't like get one. No one really yeah. ever like tells you no. So what did it feel like being told no? Oh. <laughs> I love that question. That was a fucking great question. Rejection is inevitable. And my quote in life is, when, oh, you're, go when, your re, when your relationship with a rejection changes, that's when you become successful. So you're going to experience rejection no matter what in life. Fact. The more numbers you go through, not with just people, but with business, sales. with relationships, with sales, with anything, and you realize it's part of the process, then you'll win. I will admit. That's a bar. I will admit. Phil does very good with the rejection. <laughs> I'll admit. No, he does. He does. I'll, I'll and that, that, that's actually a good thing. I like that. Because you're not scared to go up to girls. I will say, I will say this to chime in. Most guys, they see me at a bar. And at the end of the night, I have the girl. In the beginning of the night, I don't have the girl. And they see me. Most guys will give up on average, I think, after two to three girls. I usually hit the number 10. I usually succeed at nine. Let's go. And that, if that tells you anything about life or people, 
it's a numbers game. Doesn't matter if you're in sales. Doesn't matter if you're with girls. Doesn't matter in any in anything. But you have to keep on going. Give them the, exactly. the most yeah. the most amazing thing that you can do in life is to keep asking, even if you keep hearing no. And and when you keep hearing no, you're you're just on that process to to actually succeed and and hear that yes. final yes. I got a PhD in rejection as well, Pretty not for women. Dick. I got a girl for four years, but I run a regional sales team, and we she knock on doors. Still rejects them all the time. Babe, you want to come out with me this weekend? No. <laughs> you want to come on the podcast? <laughs> no. I uh, I mean that's what, literally our whole saying in 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 fucking what we do. We knock on doors. It's cold calling for a living. You literally, do you want solar panels? And I say this to new guys all the time is like, there's some, whether it's God, whether it's a solar God, whether it's the universe, whoever it is, if you go out and you say you're going to knock on 20 doors and you stop on 14, you'll get zero appointments. If you say you're going to knock on 20, you're going to get three appointments at 17, 18, and 19. You know what I mean? Like exactly, that's just how sure. it works. For sure. And I actually, to chime into your point, people see me with girls. People see me at the end of the night with the girl where they don't, they don't have the girl and they they wonder and they contemplate, well, what did he do differently? I knocked on 10 doors. You only knocked on five. No, that was the 10th tent, tent to kill a shot. And, and also, no, no, this is sober. Well, they go in I used hand. to go out. I used to go out in Poughkeepsie in our area. I used to go out anywhere. And the thing is- We'll see tonight. There, so there are so many environmental factors that play into it, but the person that you're reciprocating this information to or that you're trying to bond with has to just be in the moment. They have to be there. Sometimes the other people aren't denying you. They're just not ready at the moment. But if you find that right person that is, maybe astrologically matched, maybe not. Stop. Right? No. <laughs> but you find that common connect, they view me then as successful because I left with the girl. No, I'm not successful. I just knocked on more doors than you did. Bro, it goes right back to the Damon John. I failed more than you. That's why I'm more successful. Exactly. Failure, failure is inevitable and fail, failure, a great quote. failure is Fast success. Fast. As long as you could fail and keep failing. Fear is resistance to future experiences. Boom. False evidence appearing real. Yeah, how, I, how do you guys continue the legacy of this fucking this. epic bromance? Well, first, I don't think the show is getting as much traction as it deserves. Not just yet. Not yet. What are we, 12 days in? Yeah. I, don't think, I think it'll blow. I, but I still don't I think, think it will blow. I still don't think it's getting as much traction as it deserves. Not just Do you yet. have any idea how many views it has right now? <clears throat> no idea. Total? We just no. passed Fuckboy Island on uh, on The IMDb. YouTube trailer the last time just passed was over 600,000. Fuckboy Island. Okay. Fuckboy Island. You heard it here. Yeah, just 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 passed Fuckboy Island on IMDb. But after the show, I think, I mean, Phil touched upon it. I think the closet talk would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, my parents were actually thinking about doing a relationship advice podcast as as a leo and a cat and the bond that we had in order to truly take on the world in order to truly motivate people in order to be successful in order to uplift others a lot of you know a lot of gen z's a lot of millennials are struggling with mental health issues a lot of people are getting in relationships that i see nowadays and they don't know how to handle you know breaking up but i think my my mine and his goal is to help the youth help to inspire people, help to, people to feel confident. Not only he's very fashionable, I'm very fashionable. But gotta, just got to deal with Fashion Nova, shout out. He's Fashion Nova, shout out, yeah. Really? He's going to do a brand deal Yo, with them. Congrats. But our, our goal is to truly, truly help people to experience themselves, d dive into that inner confidence, shake whatever nature nurture they had and don't believe whatever their parents told them, but step into their own individuality and become one with themselves and love themselves. You can't love other people until you truly love yourself. Once you truly love yourself, that that other person who you're going to pick in life is an extension to your happiness. And I think me and him are conscious of the fact that we do, we do have egos, but we don't. We we diminish our ego. Sorry, Phoebe. Say it again. Sorry, Phoebe. Guys, thank you so much. I would wish you continued success, but it's already in your steps. Hopefully, you heard. I fucking love you, boys. Love you, brother. Thank you very much, boys. You guys are the shit. Thank you. Great show. And we'll see you next week. Hasta la vista, baby. Arrivederci. Just one last thing I want to say. Josie's on a vacation far away. Come, Come around, around and talk, talk it over. over. There's so many things that I want to say. You know I like my girls a little bit older. 
I don't wanna use your love tonight.